Sports Friday on SBI Media is sponsored by First Bank of Wyoming, your home for totally free checking. Visit GoFirstBank.com. Back in the SVI Media Studios for First Bank of Wyoming Sports Friday on SVI. Duke Dance here with you in state wrestling this weekend and head coach of the Sheridan Bronx Wrestling Program. That's Coach Tyson Shadow joining us today. Coach Shadow, good morning. How are you? Doing well. Excited. You know, it's the Thursday night before the state tournament. So a lot of excitement, a lot of, uh, we had a good week of practice moving forward. So just looking forward to tomorrow and seeing what we can do. Well, it's a, an exciting time to be a wrestler for Sheridan High School, if not just because it's a state tournament, but you guys are expected to be right in the mix of this thing. So walk us through your season, Coach, if you, if you could. Maybe some high points of the year that you feel like has really prepared your, your guys and your team for this, this tournament this weekend. You know, coming out of last year's second place with the caliber team we had, Coming in this year, well, last year, backing up, you know, we told that team we thought we were the team to beat, and we did fall short. You know, this year, the very first thing we talked about that first day was, you know, we don't really know where we're at. We'll kind of see as the team kind of stacks up, lines up, and as the season progressed, we saw some good things. We kind of got the lineup shuffled around and kids in the spots we thought where they could be successful, and the team started to take shape, and we found a lot of success this year. We're excited. Um, coming into the postseason with the success we've had, we know on any given day that we may be the team to beat, and uh, we believe we'll be right in it. Well, it would be uh, it would be a, a cool thing for Sheridan. It's been a it's been a hot minute, Coach, since Sheridan, I believe, has won a state wrestling title since 1990. I think if that's correct, and that's kind of amazing considering the the sports history at Sheridan High School that's there. So, what would that mean for the program if everything works out and, and you guys come out on top this weekend? That's that's got to be a, a pretty cool moment in your mind, right? You know it is. Terry Burgess, back in 1999, won the state championship for the Bronx. And he's still around, and he still contributes a lot of time to us here at the, at the high school. And he's a good guy to just sit around and talk about, you know, similarities between teams that we've had that have been successful and the one he had in 1990. And there's a lot of great similarities there. So um, there is a packed tradition of wrestling. We don't have a lot of state titles to, to go along with that, but we've had quite a few in the history of uh, Sheridan state champions, state placers, and uh, a lot of guys that have a lot of success at the next level. And we're hoping to continue that, but we're right here in front of us. We're hoping to bring the title home to Sheridan. Well, coach, as you look around the 4A field, Obviously, it's it's pretty loaded. It's pretty packed. And Natrona has been right up there with you guys throughout the course of the year. Uh, Thunder Basin, Cheyenne East, Evanston's got a really good program again this year. Uh, what is it going to take for you guys to be able to come out on top against those types of teams? Well, it's it's nothing new. You know, we've seen all those teams all year long, and that's kind of what happens in Wyoming. You see those teams throughout the year, sometimes multiple times. I mean, some of our kids, some of their only losses are to the teams you just described. So. Um, we know at any given day at the state tournament, anybody can be beat and we've got to hustle right along with those other teams and those individuals from those teams. And if we do that, we're going to be fine, but they're all well coached. You know, they're going to be as prepared as they can be. And we know the individuals there have just as lofty goals as some of our kids do. So we just have to be prepared, ready. It's going to be a fun day of wrestling and 4A is stacked just the way you said it. There's any given day, I think any of these teams could be the team on the top, and it's just the individuals that can stay cool, calm, and collected and, and go out there and wrestle their match. Coach Tyson Shadow with Sheridan High School Wrestling in the state tournament this weekend at the Ford Wyoming Center in Casper. Coach, maybe tell us about some of the guys that you have on your squad this year. To, who are the team leaders? Who are some of the anchors that, that you're really looking forward to having some good performances out of this weekend? You know, we've had great leadership out of our seniors this year, and one that stands out is Rudy Osborne. You know, he's wrestled 138 for us the majority of the year. We did slide him down to 132 to kind of help fill a void there with an injury and, you know, just try to get pointer, uh, point scorers and all weights. And, you know, he didn't balk an eye. He knew he needed to get down there and, and make a contribution to that, and uh, he didn't leave, leave off where he left off at 138. He was pretty dominant at the – regional tournament so he's one that we're excited about um and then just up through those top middle weights you know we've been very consistent through 52 60 70 
there with uh, Dane Still, Darren Grooms, and Colson Kuhn. They're great anchors to have. Um, right along there and you know we're filling those upper weights we're wrestling better all the time we've got Aiden Selker who's coming along I think he's a nice dark horse there at 195 I think he you know at any given day could be the guy to beat Jim Strobe, you know 220 is a big guy who moves well who could contribute a lot there and has it like again any given day can do it we don't have a lot of placers from previous state tournaments with us so if we have a lot of guys that are hungry to go get their first, uh, you know, their first at least step up onto the podium. You know, Coach, as we see a lot of times in, in wrestling as a, as a team sport, you mentioned some of those guys that you hope to, to be on a podium. And a lot of times it's the depth. And those wrestlebacks, right, those, those guys that are, are in the trenches trying to battle for those third places, those fifth places, how do you feel about your depth heading into this weekend? You know, we, uh, we know that uh, – our first goal is that first match on Friday, and that's been our focus. But, uh, you know, there are times that we feel good about our guys, you know, maybe maybe looking ahead a little bit, you know, that we know that we always wrestle for the next best thing, whatever that might be, because this is a big uh, team camaraderie team that uh, backs each other, and they're fighting for one another, and they know that even after a hard loss that there's still work to do, and that uh, contributes a lot to our success this year. We've had a lot of – great success on the backside of some of these tournaments with kids coming all the way back through and scoring points and finding themselves on the podium. And that's what it's going to take. You know, I believe this state tournament's going to be one on the backside. I don't think it's all going to be one on Friday and uh, Saturday. There's going to be a lot of work to do for, for getting guys up on the podium. You know, coach, of course you're focused on this weekend and, and hoping for that outcome that, that you guys have worked so hard for looking ahead and wrestling across the state of Wyoming. Uh, you've got uh, a program like Star Valley that's going to come back up into the 4A classification. And uh, I wanted to get your thoughts on that because, as, you, as we've already mentioned, the 4A class is stacked and it's loaded. And then you're going to throw Star Valley into the mix, which has been a powerhouse in 3A for a, a number of years now. Uh, that's got to be kind of exciting to, to be a wrestling fan in a wrestling state like Wyoming and just to see that kind of competition continue. You know, it's awesome. The landscape of wrestling changing like that. It's exciting. It brings a kind of a different feel to it. A traditional program like Star Valley, who I believe can compete most years at any level that they are at. You know, they they are a solid team from top to bottom, and they always get a lot of kids out. They're well coached. They show a lot of depth, and they're going to bring a lot to the 4A. You know, you, you, we know, just like you said, with the 3A, what they've accomplished, how many times they've accomplished it. and It's going to be no different in 4A. Their goals don't change just because they switch classifications. So we got to be ready. You know, we know that that kind of changes the landscape a little bit as far as what we're trying to accomplish here, build the culture and, and win state titles. So sometimes with new landscape, uh, you know, we'll see what it brings. But um, we, we take on all challengers, so... Star Valley coming up, you know, I think it is good for 4A, and I think they're right where they need to be with that change. So looking forward to it. Coach Tyson Shadow with Sheridan High School Wrestling. Coach, thank you for your time. Best of luck to you guys this weekend. Anything else that you'd like to mention while we have you? You know, it's uh, kind of one of those sad days with George K passing away in broadcasting and television and sports. And, you know, George K was a big part of Wyoming sports for a long time, and I just want to wish his family well and tell them all we're thinking of him and, you know, it's, uh, I know he'd be right in it right now talking about Wyoming wrestling. So what you guys do is awesome. Thanks for the support, and uh, go Bronx. Hey, very well said. Thank you. That's Coach Tyson Shadow on First Bank of Wyoming Sports Friday with SVI Media.